Thank you for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and this is the Power Talk show. And right before we went on our very short break, we were having the conversation of the value of first impressions, how it makes or breaks your opportunities. Now, uh, I don't know if we can pull up the comments first because I know a few of you have gone on our social media platforms and you've shared your thoughts. So the question that we asked is, First impression, Gani una, una getting you from someone? Ama, what is the first thing that you notice about someone? So this is on Facebook. Juliet Favor says facial expressions. So Juliet will notice the facial expressions first. Mm -hmm. MC Azu tuned in. Thank you so much. Gantha Bachneman says outfit. Yata notice outfit ya kwanza. Japheth Mavisu says dress code. Thank you. Felo Karuma says to Kondani Maua Meru County. Felo Asanti Sana Kutu Watch. Deno Itisha Ulewe says Kiatu. Okay. Uh, Kaberi Justin says confidence and dressing. Locked in from Kayole Junction. Asanti Sana Kutu Watch. We have Jemom Toto Tesh Boy says Kasarani Urukundani. Asanti Sana. Hunja Merian says dress code. So, so many people, based on our comments, want to notice the dress code. Mm -hmm. And then a few people will notice the confidence, the way you carry yourself. Mutome mentioned shoes, which has reminded me. Mm -hmm. I remember as a, <laughs> when I was much younger, mm -hmm. there was one time I was talking about men and their shoes. Because the first thing I look at about Ntangalia Viatu, mm -hmm. there was a guy who was walking towards us. Do you know he went back and changed? <laughs> And it is true. <laughs> and yet, because I'll come over to slides on my mini, came back out with a whole different outfit. Uh -huh. And you see, those are small things that people can think. Niko home area. Watch any talk, etuna crocs, nenda to kwa shop. But. You could be meeting your future investor, mm -hmm. future husband, future wife. Mm -hmm. And if you don't look the part, then they probably won't take you seriously. Mm -hmm. And uh, Trophy, mm -hmm. on, on the break, we were just talking about the importance of not having way too much, mm -hmm. but having a few essential pieces mm -hmm. in your closet. Mm -hmm. So, so many people usually misunderstand that. Even mm -hmm. for the gents, they usually m think you have to have a large closet. Mm -hmm. And you gave us an example of Steve Harvey who said, mm -hmm. if you have a few nice suits and then you mix up the shirt, Mm -hmm. then you can really get good outfits. Mm -hmm. What about the people who say wanataka kununuangu mpia for every event? What does that say about them? That it means they have a problem with confidence. Because why do you need new clothes for every event? Imagine looking good has nothing to do with expenses. It's all a matter of knowing your personality, Kwanza. It's very important. Also, what type of job do you have? Some, like for me, I can do smart casual. I don't need to be in suits. Even if you're in suits, get good mtumba ones. If, if, if you cannot afford the new ones, tafadhali piga pasi, it makes a difference. Kupiga tu pasi, makes a whole lot of difference. Yeah. It's the tiny details. Because appearance, ni kama super. What catches your eye the first, ile nyeko in a colorful package. Similarly, when it comes to people, when you turn a dress, is how we, our eyes draw to you. So appearance is really, really important. Like you say, I need a new cloth. Have something that is very versatile. Dress in something that you can rewear in many in many ways someone will be like oh can I wardrobe you don't have we have a minimalist capsule wardrobe something you can mm. wear in several ways yeah mm -hmm. so it's very important to mm -hmm. buy staple pieces mm -hmm. i've seen so many people online stylists and uh, people who are into fashion mm -hmm. talk about a staple wardrobe yes. where you have a few pieces that are you can mix up whites, blacks, yes. grey. Those can go with everything. Mm -hmm. And then it's about how you mix and match them. Mm. Now for the gentlemen, mango is any expensive. Go to a normal. Like have you ever gone into Usha and the shop? I was shocked. When I was trying to buy a tie for my dad. Mm -hmm. I walked in expecting me five hundred or something. They told me the price and I was like, Hi yeah, tai moja. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> So, mm -hmm. what do you, what would you say about men mm -hmm. getting nice fashion outfits and pieces? What can you tell men about that? I think for me, personally, I'm a sneaker head. So, I have an amazing, like, I look for, I have a sneaker collection. And for me, I feel like I'm um, with that guy who commented, like, some uh, sneakers. For me, I feel like for men, since our outfits are somewhat expensive kidogo shoes at least kind of balances it out you know yeah. you can be in a, in a nice simple track suit but you know the shoes will just complement it the whole yeah. outfit for you you understand so i think mm -hmm. for men it's a bit of, of a challenge i think even just khakis khakis are like 1500 you know 
um, you get a nice T-shirt. You can get a nice, 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 like, you know, proper T-shirt, like a thousand shillings. You know, you go to shoes, you know, you get 3,500. So sometimes it can be a bit challenging mm -hmm. for you to pull it off. But for me, I think, I feel like when you have the opportunity to get them and then stack them up so that at least you, you play with them, as, as you said. Mm -hmm. What one of Chazana suits? The way Steve Harvey said, get like three of them. Chazanazo. Mm -hmm. Also, when you are in a position to get some of these nice, nice outfits, get a black khaki. Don't get a black Get a black khaki. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uko sorted. Sawa. Tisho sasa. Leo. Leo. Water rudia socks, babe. No, at least, at least socks. At least socks. It cuts across the board. Mm -hmm. For th for the ladies, for the gents in Okwanga, 50 bob. Yeah, but some actually don't 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 need the socks. Like they don't see the big deal. I only the big deal. Along in Kinuka, we see your socks. So you see green socks. That's a water. Like you know, we are doing much more. But Zile's socks are doll shoes. We are doing Zile's. Zile's are okay. 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 Zile President of the mm. country, but um, to Angalia Seme, because right now our mm. president is very well known because of his counter suits. Mm. Now we can really identify him. To Nasema, people have even been shunning those ones and moving away from the traditional suits. Mm -hmm. So your identity, alafu ku invest, to mungela poko investment. Mm. So for the gents who mewambia, find staple pieces mm. yeah. and then play around with them. Yeah, These are basic colors, by the way. Apart from your tips, mm -hmm. ukitoka apa kama una information exactly. ni wewe tu. Uta watch to repeat na wandike notes. Because <laughs> that I feel like is very uh, as essential for people. Mm -hmm. Because people don't know how to get outfits, where to get them. Mm -hmm. Na tumesema about investment. Now moving away from the outfits. Mm -hmm. Ama kidogo, wacha ni kwame hapo. Because I've just remembered something. Me too. Outfits mm -hmm. ya date. Men are dates. Mm -hmm. How are you supposed to dress? Because for the ladies, sometimes you want to be in a very sexy dress, you're revealing, because you're trying to show your best assets. Mm -hmm. Trophy, how should ladies dress for a date? Allow me to start answering that by what you mentioned about the counter suit the president. And you also mentioned a fact about shoes. Do you know not only about men? It is a fact that we subconsciously notice people's shoes. Like, oh, Taki could notice, you just, not, you just oh. Mm -hmm. And for the president, if you can see, he's trying to create a signature look. Something that he's remembered for because we say be memorable. So for him, Angalia Watu in history, in like from other countries who dress in calendar suits and the agendas they push. So for him, he's creating a signature look. Now, coming to your question about dating, me always say dress in something, you are okay. Mm. In case you are, you can take a matatu comfortably. Not something you need to pull down. Just, it makes no sense to put on something and then you keep pulling it down. Mm. A laugh with the person you're meeting is like a pr prospective investor. So you need to be careful of the image you send out. And I know someone might argue and say, oh, we don't live in, the, in those colonials. It's all about perception. Someone, how do I respect you? Like if you come over, you're over revealed, it may give the wrong impression. And then you'd be like, why do you always attract some kind of people? It is how you package yourself. Because mm. when you too, it brings us back to the phrase you say, mm -hmm. dress how you want to be addressed. Exactly. If you want to be a girlfriend, if mm. you want to be a wife, mm. dress like a girlfriend. Mm. Where am I not getting anyone serious? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you know, sometimes the my dress my choice has gone so far mm -hmm. that people think. I see utani jua, si tutonge, you'll understand me. Mm -hmm. But people don't understand that. Yes, you might be intellectual, you might mm -hmm. have PhDs and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. But because you come in looking a certain way, people will subconsciously mm -hmm. think of you in that way. As, and to add to what you've said, I think, I don't know how, like, people should, should know mostly as women. If you decide to expose your legs, cover the rest up. Mm -hmm. Balance. This is what we call the law of balance. If you've decided the upper part should be exposed, cover the lower part. A little balance so that it doesn't give the slutty look. We're not saying dress like a nun. We're not saying put on a, a hijab or a niqab. We're just saying whatever you decide to equal focus, like you're revealing, cover the rest. 
ndio ileta hiyo balance mm. Mm. na hizo ni a few things that people should take note yes. of it's not at you na reveal kila kitu mm -hmm. si unazota ni kwa soko Wataweza na soko na expose kila kitu. Wataona na wamalize ni kama ukisoma gazeti. You see those people who read the paper for buy. They don't buy because they've seen everything. So let me read this one comment and then we will ask the gents. We have Saint Matthew who says of course the dressing. Na hiyo makeup ya uso. Squeeze pictures in danganya sanda. One day kilini ramba ilinibidi nijifiche kwanza to absorb the shock. Oh no, Saint Matthew, what happened? And then also Jen Wangoi says following from Thika and loving the show. We have Willy Bazu who says streaming live from Kitale Birunda, Asanti Sana. Then we have Elysian Akoko who says dress how you want to be addressed. So mostly people focus on how presentable an individual is, then mm. the social skills, interactive skills follow. In the show like bacteria, thank you so much and for that uh, information. So on that note about the dressing, because the mm -hmm. dressing is very, very important mm -hmm. about the first impression that we make. Mwana mm aki -hmm. sweatpants. Theo, should I take this pants seriously? Because, you know, sometimes the ladies are the ones who, to me focus, mavazia, madames, jume vaje. But then a man will come into a date with a tracksuit and it's dinner or something. Should the men also consider the context and the fact that they're meeting this person for the first time? Um, for me, I think... Unless you're a YouTube athlete. Mm. <laughs> 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 Unless you're a YouTube athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Do not. <laughs> Do not. You know, you know, if 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 um you know if you're a famous athlete or a sports person and things like that, you know already sports is your identity. You understand? If a famous athlete comes to to um to a date in a tracksuit and some nice sneakers you will not necessarily judge that person but sasa shida inakuwa ni penye also venue venue really matters a lot if we're having our first date uh, mm. or the first meeting in a in a social hangout club or joint i would wear personally i would wear smart casual you understand but if we're having if we're having a cocktail dinner for example i would dress smart you know na my suit ni nini 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 you understand you will just look a certain type of way understand so i think also venue also matters mm -hmm. yeah so the truck suit <sighs> you know truck suits <laughs> and and sweatpants for me i think has been widely misinterpreted mm -hmm. you understand yeah. like people have made sweatpants as you know like they have made it social like part of life you understand yeah. but in essence for me i feel like sweatpants are nikama night dress yeah madam you understand you should wear it just to be comfortable. Do you understand? When you're in the house or when you're going to the shop, kidogo, kidogo. Do you understand? But what is what on an out? Na crocs. Na crocs. And the worst part. Like the apple ju. The worst part is the woman has a make effort. I'm she's a, like she's looking like you make up on point in make on point <laughs> dress on point. Heels. You know how painful it is walking on heels. Imagine heels. A lot for someone shows up and you're like, yo. <laughs> you know, I feel like that thing especially, because mm. people usually focus on the woman. Mm -hmm. They're like, the woman has to make the effort. I'm going to three hours. I'm going to make three hours. i fix makeup, I'm going to all these things. Imagine. You even went to the extent of getting a makeup artist. Imagine. Only to meet someone in sweatpants. Now, I'm serious, I'm going to be impressed. Honestly, I'm going to feel, you'd rather, as a man, you'd rather even ask her, what she's wearing to the to the mm. meet to the date mm -hmm. yeah and you'd rather even yeah, yeah you'd, you'd rather yeah. even make that you know just take one for the team and be like yeah. right there what are you wearing, wearing? So and there's always this there's always this quote i live by mm. it's better to be overdressed than underdressed exactly after that you show up what you go extra mm. imagine be extra mm. than being underdressed for the occasion because mm -hmm. you know sometimes it also you might be confident, but it can ruin your confidence. Mm -hmm. Utaji feature feature, because unangalia unona. Because I've been in a context where mm -hmm. there was a gala, and we were invited there. So I was trying to get from people, what are we wearing? How mm -hmm. are we doing this? One of them is extra. So I went to the midpoint where we are supposed to be transported there. What are casual? Mm -hmm. So I, I even started overthinking. Nico like, eh, kwani mimi ndo do the most. We got to the venue, and the people I was with were very uncomfortable. Because yeah. they were very underdressed. The person mm. who opened the door was in a suit. 
Kila mtu me dress up nini. They were very so embarrassed that they had to leave the event first. So that's one thing that I feel like people should live by. It's better to be overdressed than yeah. to be underdressed. True. Now, um, let's get to, we've talked about the impression is just not about the dressing and mm -hmm. everything. Trophy, you mentioned about timekeeping. Exactly. So many people really disregard that. They're like, see, make us smart. They will even call it fashionably late. No. Yani, it's something that really, there's nothing that, that asks me like people don't keep time. Because it affects their gravitas, how you, like the first impression peer. Because if you show up late, it means one, you don't respect your, your time. You don't respect my time. Because I've been in events whereby someone, I, I get there early, and someone is like, you're too early. So they think I have nothing to do. In real sense, I'm trying to show you, but I respect my nini. I tell you what, I'll be there by one. Yeah. Not because I have nothing to do. It is because timekeeping is good manners. It's good etiquette. Like, get there on time. You're supposed to be somewhere at 10. Be there at 9.30. Latest, 9.45. So if you have traffic, there will always be traffic in Nairobi. Factor in traffic. I love if you have to cancel someone. Let us say something has happened. If you cancel, you're supposed to meet at 10. Don't cancel at 9.40. If you in as a car, cancel at 8. I love at a equal than Because imagine someone is halfway. I love when I put a text. You're like... Mm. People respect that type. And it's something I've noticed about very respectable people. They really respect time. Like, at a wangale to the one you That's it. That is the yeah. first impression is ruined for them. Mm. Mm. And people can maintain that image. They'll say mm. when a chelewanga. First impression is that mm. it may seal the deal. Yeah. Like, you, you keep me waiting and then you're like, ah, kwani, kwani milala uku? I'd just be like, are we joking? <laughs> am, am I a joke, joke to you? Am I a joke to you? And mm. you know, uh, based on that, mm. I, think, I think there's an event. There's an event I went to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, you know how we have artists lined up where, 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 number one, number two, number three. So I think number the artist who was performing number four, I'll not mention names, the artist mm -hmm. was, is a very good friend of mine. He was performing number four. So artist number three, Ali Chaleo. So this girl was supposed to go on stage at five. This other person at 4.30. So at 4.30, Hajafika. Imeanza kukaribia five. So now the um, stage manager or the person who was now Pangang the show, uh, the program, Akambia Uyu, Niaja by there will have to push you a bit down, a mm. bit further down because who you, I'm a fika sasa, and I'm a fika five. Mm. You get. So this guy actually, he respectfully stood up and said, I was set to perform at five, mm -hmm. so I will perform at five. Mm -hmm. If not, I'm leaving. I respect my time. And I like him. In, yeah. in, in, uh. So, Kuna watu utakaivi chini na useme, Kuna watu utasema, Jamao ni mutiaji. And a ringa. And a ringa. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. But if you come to think but even you know, most guys were talking was you know, in the background, But then now when we were having our post production meeting, is now when we sat down and just realized by the you know, like this guy actually made sense. And we yeah. till today he has he got my he even earned more respect for me personally yeah. because of that stand. He said, you know what? Yeah, yes, I'm Peleke 5.30. Mm. But me, I was here on time. I was supposed mm -hmm. to perform 5 to 5.30. I will perform 5 to 5.30. Yeah, you're Michelo, I'm working from 30 to 6. Yeah. But don't push me down. Yet because I was here on time. I've person. done that so many times. Yeah. And I think someone would have this perception trophy and I think, no, you see, I've cancelled some things. I've rescheduled some people to be here. The least you can do is show up on time. That's the yeah. least you can do. Otherwise, you're making some of us look like you have nothing to do. Nikatu mekatu tunangoja time if you get to so that we come. Yeah. Unona. So timekeeping. And then let us leave this thing of some Kenyan mentality. Come on. This is the 20th century. Like, people, you're really inconveniencing people. I've, I've had some situations where I'm like, let us just reschedule. Because I find it rude. I've been there on time, then you, you I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. What impression is that? Yeah. Even yeah. And also the, on that note. The last thing, mm -hmm. last thing before, you, before, I, before you. The last thing. Even the person who's late. Mm -hmm. At I wear the answer your nine. So in the Kenya. African time, mm. in yeah. Kenya, mm. I the answer your nine. And they're late. And now they're I wanted, late. I wanted you to add this. What about artists who cancel? When you trophy me, sema. Shine is a queen and zayo five. Yendo na faanze. But for forty-five, no na kupigia ati ata siyezi make. What about that? Because I know as a TV and radio producer, you've experienced situations like that where people cancel very last minute. Or sometimes they don't even communicate. Uh -huh. Unangojea tu unashindo yeah, what yeah. happened. <laughs> yeah. hey, there is nothing. What do you take that for? Honestly, as a producer, that is the worst thing. For both TV and radio, it cuts across. It is the worst thing that can ever happen to you. Because you already put 
the posters up the day before. Mm -hmm. So all these guys, his, all these people, the, the fans of the artists, for example, are all tuned in. Mm -hmm. The show, whatever show that you're airing, the fans are also uh. all tuned in. You understand? And then this person cancels on you last minute. And then it's so last minute that you can't even get another artist or you yeah. cannot get another guest or you cannot even put up another poster. So now that show has to... You understand? Yeah, so that that's really, right. really affects your reputation and your credibility as a media house, yeah. for example. Yeah? Because you know, you know, you know, you know, and actually it was not your fault. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now you look like you're cloud chasing. You look mm -hmm. like you're misrepresenting yourselves. I, it is the worst thing that ever happens. And then you find some artists even have the audacity to do that to you like three times. Yeah. To show their apparently the importance. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And three do you times. think that can be amended? Because I've had experiences where mm -hmm. I had scheduled guests mm -hmm. and then they communicated a few hours before. Amata, like two hours to the show. And they tell you, I can't come because of this, this, and that. And mm -hmm. honestly, <laughs> I'm sorry people can call me rude, mm -hmm. but I never reach out to those guests again. Because mm -hmm. in my mind, I don't know if you'll do that again another time. Do I need to have backup? I had a guest who didn't even communicate. I tried reaching out, reaching out, nothing. So mm -hmm. I end up a beg for the show. So on that note, do we think first impressions, Ziki Wambaya, can they be amended? Trophy, can it be amended at all? It can, but you need to put a significant amount of apology in the process. Let me mention someone that has really, that really did something that I respect until today. So we normally have classes at the Brand Experts Kenya. It starts at 6. This Boda guy comes and says, you know what, I'm a Boda Boda guy, but I want public speaking classes. I can't do 6. I, will, I want to come at 5. Can you make that? Nini? We're like 5 in the morning. Yes, 5 in the morning. And then we're like, so what? Let it be money. He paid up front and then... Trust you me, not once, and I know he's probably watching this show, not once did that guy come in late. Not once. He was always there, like, okay, so you, I, until I asked him one day, Naftal, how comes you this discipline? He said he was in the NYS. Mm. Like, there was even a day he, he, was, he was dozing, and then I was like, what's up? He was like, you know, we, we were moving the previous day because of the rains and everything, but I couldn't miss class. Oh, no, no, you're disciplined. Yeah. And I have so much respect for him. Atta Saizi. Wherever he is, I respect him. And then, just like what you've experienced, you have people who don't even bother to cancel, like to, to even tell you prior, so that you can make any arrangements. Personally, my impression of you, I don't think we can salvage that, because I will see, like, you don't respect me. You've not even made that effort of apologizing. So that leaves a bad taste. I would be like, no, there's yeah. no respect here. Yeah, because mm. people should at least make the effort. Because mm. call afterwards. Tell me something came up and I'm sorry I couldn't make it. I'm sorry it I couldn't It has to be beyond you, Kamisa. Yeah. Eh, yeah. mm. so, Theo, yes. in your experience, because you've said, kunao ma artist mo mapatia yo liwe. Akachelo ma rakwanzo kusema. Let me try again. You know, again. sometimes, you know, you, know, you know, in our field, you have to, you just have to, you have to give benefits of doubts. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So, because artists, an artist can, can, can purpose to come tomorrow. And then an event comes up and it's in a different county, a uh, different country. Yeah. And things so it happens a lot. So we normally have chance one, chance two, chance three. And I will not lie to you. Any producer will tell you, no matter how big you are, once you mess up on the third chance, the respect completely in a sharp. You understand? And I work with so many. And you know, producers ought to know. And trust you me, if you mess up on my show, it will be difficult for you to get because we normally talk. Yeah. Hey, we're going to do next week. Nikona nani? I'm be ah, chana ojama, ojama ata talk care. I just talk care. You understand? Yeah. So even before we even even before I, and it happens to me as well. I'm like, hey, by the way, I reached out to Nani's and Nani's manager, and he's supposed to be coming up on Friday. And I'm be ah, answer took tough to back up my payment. Mm -hmm. You understand? And yeah. so now I will even I will even now start questioning myself. Eh, you know, because producers we talk. Yeah. We plan like our shows together. You also find out which topic did you address, which topic, so that I also don't mm. repeat the same, the same content, content or, on a, better my, on, on, yeah, on, mm. or a better angle to go about it. You understand? Mm. Also, the reason why we talk is because I might have a connect for a certain artist, because I could have a certain artist on my show. Nipigyo ethio niyaje? Ulipataje? Sinitumie contact person wa nani siya ni kupo show yako. You understand? So we talk. So one thing that Many people don't understand is that. Utachoma kwangu, ufikiri, ah, my show ni mingi. Mm. But that's a, you know, for example, my show, I had a, a certain guest. 
Sheryl ako power talk aniambia wewe by the nitumie namba ya nani niliona post fulani akwambia oh jamaa kidogo mm. a bit tricky you understand yeah. so the impression that you make the the ripple effect the ripple It effect is mm. yes it's always felt yeah, it's and you know felt. even just um, in line with that yeah. people always say now i think i've agreed with this because i've met so many people in nairobi Nairobi is a very small town. Mm -hmm. Kenya is a very small place, especially these days with social media and all these things. You can think umechoma picha hapa and you can salvage it in Nakuru. Mm -hmm. But people in Nakuru are aware because of social media, because maybe they got your information somehow. So it's better for you to really make a good first impression. Ju, if you ruin that first impression, really make mm -hmm. amends. You have to go the extra mile to make amends so that people don't perceive you that way. Because genuinely, I think we can all agree that people that we can't take seriously because mm -hmm. of the first impression, even friends, they're friends of mine. Working in bed at 4 p.m., I will show up there at 6 p.m. Because I know in my mind. <laughs> so as we're winding up the show, mm -hmm. Trophy, you've really talked about the importance of branding, mm -hmm. personal branding, digital branding, professional branding. Mm -hmm. So should all this align? Should my personal brand align with my professional brand? Or can I have two personas? Because we've talked about alter egos. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to have two different personas mm -hmm. and still have those different brand identities? Or what is the value of having a, a, very, a very good brand mm -hmm. that cuts across the, the fields? I think for me, I would say having one, like something you can easily identify you with. Yes, you can have an alter ego, but one of the egos must be dominant over the other. So it depends with what message you want to get out there. Like if I say, major branding is all about identity. Ukiskia Java, what comes to mind? What comes to mind? Think coffee. Coffee. But they sell yeah. food. See, so they sell yeah. chakula. Mm -hmm. so, so that is branding. So how you brand yourself, like, come on, celeb, nini, nini. If you brand yourself as this arrogant, nini, nini person, imagine traffic asiku, tashukisha to chini. Like, better ones will always come like that, like that, like that. Yeah. So have this brand of someone who is respectable, humble. And just like we were talking, imagine it's a Kenyan thing, here, kitu ya lateness. The other day, we were with my colleague in Rwanda, and Gary Jeja, we were headed somewhere else. Well, it's five, and I talk a five. To Lian Galiana, I'm being kidnapped because <laughs> what is going on? But now we keep time. Everything is on time. Mm -hmm. I think it's a Kenyan thing. Yeah. Mm. And I think uh, the way you're saying that, mm -hmm. I think people need to really understand that. Because mm -hmm. people assume my brand on social media can be different from my brand in the office. Mm -hmm. But people will follow you across mm -hmm. the board. Mm -hmm. And we can all attest to the fact that there are people who, even personally, have encountered them and they're so different from social media. Nana mm Shindwa, -hmm. eh? Kwani difference ni gani? So let's all take account of the fact that your impression whether you make it socially mm -hmm. or professionally ama wherever you are in the digital space in your personal spaces it leaves an impression mm -hmm. the way you present yourself the way you speak to people the way you act regardless of the context it leaves an impression and mm -hmm. remember that people are always watching you can think no one is watching but everyone is watching someone is always watching somewhere so your first impression the first impression you make in any situation is very important. That should be how you want to be perceived going forward. So that is it. Um, let's get some parting shots from you, maybe under 30 seconds and where we can find you afterwards. Uh, ladies first, Trophy, where can we get you and what can you say to our audience? We are, okay, the Brand Experts Kenya, we are in Nairobi CBD, Caxton House. We are a public speaking, public speaking and communications training school. And what I can say to wrap up the idea of first impressions, You'll never get this a second chance to make a good first impression. Ensure you nail the first one. Mm, thank you so much. That's very well said. Mm -hmm. Theo, where can we get you after this? Uh, all social media platforms um, mm -hmm. at Theo Among, um, on X, on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, yeah. For me, I think um, the most important thing is, as you said, you should dress how you like to be addressed. That is, yeah. I think that is the most important take home for me from here. In as much mm -hmm. as I. I, I, I am a firm believer in it. I think I never saw it from, from that perspective, but I think that is my take home for me, and I think it should be the same for our audience out there. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. And okay. I love those parting shots because they really wrap up everything mm -hmm. that we've said. 
Because so many people want to go deeper, security, expensive, no. Mm -hmm. Find your identity, find your brand and stick with it. So I think that is it for today. My name is Cheryl Blessing. Thanks to the entire team of everyone who has helped this show be a success. And thank you for sticking to Y254TV. A repeat of this show will air tomorrow between 1 and 2 p.m. And we will have this up on YouTube in case you have missed it or you want to share it with someone who hasn't watched it. Thank you so much. Stick to Y254TV. We have more amazing programs coming your way.